Hello and welcome to another tutorial here today. Today I'll be installing MinOS as this has been a very hot topic for me. I've been getting requests left and right. Um, so I'm going to just be setting up a default server here as I'm talking with Ubuntu 13.10. So um, right now I've been having quite a few requests. I need to uh, make a tutorial for how, like if you're on shared hosting, how to get all your stuff over to onto a droplet um, quick and easy. Um, how to set up an open VPN server and um, this tutorial which was how to set up um, MC, a mine OS on DigitalOcean which is great um, so anyways that's, that's my plan this tutorial can all be followed by going to minecraft.codeemo.com and you will see on the site that there will be a uh, project um, well there will be the wiki you cannot speak tonight and you can follow the wiki there. And anyways, I'm just waiting for that to finish up, and it did. So I'm going to now go ahead and log in. So I'm, that was from the last try of this. And now I know exactly what I need to do. So I'm going to um, load MinoS right here. Make sure it is the right IP address, and it is. So I'm going to copy this password and minimize that. So I'm going to open this up and log in with root as soon as it starts. And we're going to have to retry that. Okay, press yes. Log in as root. Password is what I have copied. And there we go. So I'm going to start off with just doing app get update. And once my update is done, I will then go ahead and install a couple different um, things for my environment here. So I'm going to have to wait a few seconds. There we go. And by doing the dash Y it accepts everything. Okay, so that's installed. Disregard the MC join that I messed up the box name. So and MC joins a project I'm working on. So I'm, now I'm going to have to um, set up some configurations here. So I'm going to have to go ahead and make a directory of user games. I'm going to have to CD into that directory. And then I'm going to have to clone the um, MinoS project. I'll then cd into Minecraft and go ahead and get the main config file. And I will make it so this file is not writable. And I will go ahead and save the MinoS console to the MinoS bin. And then we're almost done here, so now we're going to copy the MinoS. Uh, let's look here. The okay, yeah, we're copying the MinoS web UI, and now we're going to make that so that's executable at start. And then I'm going to go ahead and update the default values. And same, I'm doing everything same with so we can start the multiple servers at boot. And I'm doing that command again, and this one another time. And now I'm just going and I'm copying the default MinoS config. And then we're going to now go and take over our secure HTTPS so it shows up at the top of our browser so data transferred throughout the session is secure. And now I'm going to go ahead and start the service. And if you need to stop, you just do service minus stop. And that is all done now. So now I can go ahead and get this handy dandy IP and paste it in my browser and do port 8080. And we should see presented with this yellow page. This is all fine. All this means is it's not an assigned security certificate but it still is encrypted. So we can proceed anyways. And we will now be presented with a login screen and that we have username and password. You're going to want to enter the username and password of your current session of SSH. So mine happens to be root and my password is what was e to emailed to me by DigitalOcean. So go ahead and paste that, paste that in. So now log in. If you're on a public computer, make sure you hide your IP or hide password. All right, so now we're logged in as root. So let's go ahead and create a custom profile to get started. Profile name will be default for me. And I will go ahead and put a, a download as the craft bucket dot jar. I'm going to copy that and paste that and make sure we have no GUI here. And the download URL on default will get craft bucket. So I'm going to go ahead and submit. 
and this happened to me before. So I'm just going to change the profile name just to test. There we go. So I think that was the issue before too. So now I am going, or members of this group may update and remove house. That's fine. Um, I'm now going to log out of root. And now I'm going to use putty and I'm going to add a new user. Now this is because the root user cannot actually own a server because it wants other users to have the server. So I'm going to go ahead and add a user and uh, we're going to add user and Minecraft. And I'm going to set a password to password and password. And I'm just going to key through these and that's good. So now I'm going to log in with Minecraft and password. Alright, and now we can see we are logged into our little area here. So now I can go ahead and create a server now, and I'm going to put the server name as um, Minecraft, or my server. Server ownership will be Minecraft, and that's for anybody else that has a server around here. You can have people share your server, kind of. And I'm just going to use default stuff here. And profile will be test because that's the only profile we have set up. And it looks like good. And we can go ahead and start this around boot if we want to. We can go ahead and submit that. Um, server name does not like. So let's go back and fix that. So it's only going to want like that. And we'll continue through these and submit. All right. So now we can see create has been a success. And we'll just wait a few seconds here. Um, and we actually can click on our server and once the server is completely um, set up here and it, it will eventually start. We can also go look at the console and it looks like it's actually empty. Let's go back up to server status and just wait a couple of seconds here. This does not update automatically. It, there is an actual delay here. Um, I actually need to, I, I, th I think I know what's going on, hold on, we need to fix one thing here, so let's plug back in as root, I, I th think this is the issue I'm having, I'm just going to clarify, I'm going to go back to the manage profiles here, and I'm going to go ahead and update th this, um, I didn't want to do that. I'm going to remove this and re-add it. So remove this profile. Okay. I'm going to actually create a new profile. But we need to get buckets default do download here of a server. I think this is our issue. So I'm just hoping it is. So I'm going to copy this link address here. I'm going to create a new profile called server. And I'm going to put the download URL there. I have craft bucket. Dot jar. Craft bucket. and put no GUI. Going to go ahead and submit that. And now I'm going to click on this here and see if we can now download this. And now this has worked. Okay, so I'm glad we figured this one out. Okay, so sorry about that. And let's go ahead and now log out of root now. And now I'm going to log in back with Minecraft and password. And now I'm going to go back to um, my dashboard. Not too sure if we can actually edit a server. It's not looking like we can. So let's go ahead and delete the server. 
And now let's add a new server. So create a new server. Server name will be um, Testola. And that's fine. Next, this is all fine. And let's use the profile of server and submit. All right, so now I'm going to go into Testola and press the start button. And start has been a success this time. And we're going to wait for it to load. And there we go. The server is now online. Okay, so now we can, um, I don't know why players is negative. I have not figured that out. So now if you have another computer, you can go ahead and connect to your server and everything should be a go. Now I don't have Minecraft actually installed on my computer at the moment because of um, graphics driver issues, but I will later. Um, but anyways, it is currently running fine. Uh, the server's on. I'm not too sure about the whole negative thing. Um, there, there we go. Um, I think it has to do with RAM usage, so you're going to probably want to use a server bigger than 256 megabytes. Um, I think that's a big issue. So anyway, so you can go ahead and create a new archive of your server, and you can create restore points. Let's go ahead and do that. And backup is success. We can also create archives. And um, let's see. Okay, you gotta create archive by down there, not up there. Um, but yeah, and then you can go ahead and delete them and etc. There's your archives. There's the backup. And yeah, so everything seems to be working. You can see when we turn on the um, server, it looks like it may have caused a spike, and it did. Um, but you can see the server is running down here, and everything looks to be great. So thank you for watching this tutorial, and I hope you were able to learn something. And sorry about those few errors I had, but I think I got all the bugs worked out. And we can also send commands to console, so we can say, um, er, it's, it's been a while since I've played Minecraft. I don't, I don't remember if this is how this works. Yeah, there we go, say hello. Server has sent hello. So if we were on the server right now, we would see that. So thank you for watching this tutorial. It's been a great time.